Welcome to Carolina Week Sports. I'm Deshaun Brown. Now, the Duke Blue Devils came to Chapel Hill during the weekend for a three-game series with the Carolina baseball team. In game one, senior pitcher Robert Woodard pitched a complete game shutout and earned his 300th career win. His 30th, excuse me. The defense kept the Blue Devils off the board with some sensational plays like this. Shortstop Josh Horton made this ridiculous throw from his knees to retire Duke's Nate Freeman. Offensively, the Heels recorded seven runs on 12 hits. Chad Flack broke out of a power slump with this towering shot for his second home run of the season. The Heels went seven to nothing, extending their win streak against Duke to 8-0, dating back to 2004. Surely that streak would continue against lowly Duke, right? Wrong. The Heels split Saturday's doubleheader, and Duke shellacked UNC 9-3 as Duck Dustin Ackley went hit list, snapping the third longest hitting streak in UNC history at 28 games. The Heels rallied in the final game, winning 7-4. Carolina football fans were treated to their first taste of the Butch Davis era during the annual spring game on Saturday. Nearly 10,000 fans came out to Keenan Stadium to see the Heels compete in a 90-minute scrimmage. Redshirt freshman quarterback T.J. Yates had an impressive day. He completed 10 of 15 attempts for 163 yards and three touchdowns. Oh, he drills this one. Even though it was only a scrimmage, the players didn't shy away from contact. Joe Daly looking for the open man here. But check this out. Cornerback Jermaine Strong lays out Richie Rich with this massive hit. That brought the crowd to its feet. After the game, Coach Davis said he's impressed with the team's upbeat attitude especially after a 3-9 and nine season. Their enthusiasm and their passion and their willing to work has been a godsend. I mean, they have, they have been as eager as any football team I've ever been around to change what's, what's happened in the past. I mean, I think they want to win. And we want to win too. Now, flying without wings or with the help of an airplane sounds impossible, but I spoke with one Carolina athlete who does it all the time. My name is Ryan Jenks, and I'm a pole vaulter. She speaks softly. But boy, does she carry a big stick. Excuse me, big pole. I consider it like the extreme event in track and field. You know, track and field is always kind of very traditional, running, jumping. And now that pole vaulting is becoming a little bit more popular, especially among women, um, it's, kind of, it's kind of edgy, it's kind of extreme. And uh, pole vaulters kind of have a reputation of being a little bit out there and a little bit crazy. What could possibly be crazy about trusting a pole to vault your body 12 feet into the air. Rather than planting straight up overhead, like this, if you plant to the side, you get thrown right into that nice pillar over there. So that's kind of fun. <laughs> uh, not so much. But for the senior, what began as a way to earn points for her high school track team turned into an ACC championship in her sophomore season. That sounds more like fun. It's been exciting because I constantly still have to work at it. I'm so new. I, I do so many things wrong still that it's still still a challenge. The biggest challenge of all? The vault itself. I feel like it happens so fast. The hardest part to think about is right in here, the last few steps. You think a little bit more than when you're up in the air because everything just happens so fast. The pole hits, it bends, and you swing and then you fly, you know, fly off the pole. And off to unforeseen heights. Now, Jinx will compete in the ACC Outdoor Championships Wednesday in College Park, Maryland. It stayed dry just long enough on Sunday for the women's lacrosse team to set some records. It was a good day to be a UNC lacrosse fan. The Lady Heels had an easy time with Longwood College on Sunday afternoon, setting school records for goals and margin of victory. Goalie Kristen Horty didn't have too much to do during the game because there were so many of these. During both halves, it was just goal after goal, and the score climbed higher. It seemed like there was a goal every other minute. Fifteen different UNC players scored as Carolina's explosive offense overwhelmed Longwood's defense. The Heels would go on to win 24-2. Carolina softball faced Virginia Tech on Saturday in a battle for first place in the league. Taking a break from spring football, fans and even Dick Bedore came out to watch the ACC's best. In the first game, the Heels started strong, loading the bases with this hit from Casey Testa but they just couldn't get past third base. Now, Virginia Tech on offense now knocks this one well out of the ballpark for the home run. Saturday featured two of the best pitchers in the nation, Lisa Norris and Angela Tincher, both notched double-digit strikeouts, but Tincher came out on top with the win and sole possession of first place in the ACC. There was a Duke infestation in Chapel Hill this weekend. 
Women's Tennis welcomed the Blue Devils to the Cone Kenfield Indoor Tennis Center. It was senior day for 11th ranked North Carolina. The Heels took an early lead against 18th ranked Duke and never let up, winning 4 to nothing. The Heels head into the postseason 20 and 7. With this weekend's baseball and tennis wins, North Carolina now holds a one-point lead in the Carlisle Cup, the all-sports competition between Duke and UNC. With 26 points available, the Heels need three more points to claim the cup outright. In case of a tie, Carolina will keep the cup after winning it two years in a row. And Adam, you know, a little birdie just told me that you used to pole vault in high school. I did used to pole vault in high you school. All, used to pole vault yeah, in high I know. School. Hard to believe, huh? But um, <laughs> she makes it look much, you know, more graceful than I did. But uh, yeah, I was a pole vaulter. Did it two I'm years sure and uh, had my share. You know, she was talking about flying off the side of the back of the mat. I think I did that more than landing yeah, flat on my back, <laughs> nice and pretty. <laughs> a bit of a scary experience, I'm sure. Yeah, All right, Deshaun. So, what's your prediction for this Carlisle Cup? How do you think it's going to turn? Well, out? you know, UNC is. Been the victor for the past few years, so I'm pretty sure we'll pull it out again. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Seishan. No problem. Chapel Hill is known for its vibrant music scene. There are local musicians who cater to every taste imaginable. Coming up, the story of a Hillsborough school teacher who takes a more natural approach to music.